Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Big Fish Synergy. Today we're going to talk about some big soft swim baits that can really make a difference in the Northeast. I'm talking about three in particular. We'll get into it in the video. So without further ado, cue the music. everyone it's good to be back I've taken a little bit of hiatus a little bit of a hiatus from making videos because I've been so busy I've been on the road with uh, music and work yeah we're gonna be talking about soft swim baits that make a difference in the spawn and post spawn all three of these are paddle tail style swim baits uh, so the first one I want to talk about is the 10 inch mag draft I mean, this thing, this thing's reputation precedes itself. It's an absolutely monster bait, but it really has a nice sleek profile. And uh, man, it'll get bites from fish anywhere, I'd say. Actually, you know what? Two pounders will take a shot at this too, but you're definitely gonna catch quite a bit of five to seven pounders on this bait and, and bigger, obviously. But again, I'm in New Jersey in the Northeast those types of uh, fish don't come along a lot. But I have caught ones uh, right under seven on this thing. So let me just talk about the rigging on this. So basically here is the stock hook on the mag draft, but I think that just keeping this one hook with all of this, all of this exposed and open is a huge mistake in the Northeast. I could see guys in California that are around or Florida around way bigger fish where they don't need that assist hook, that stinger that I put on. I'll talk about that in a second. But in my experience, just the way that they eat that, this is the strike zone right here. Uh, I have not had headshots on this thing. Everything seems to come right around here. It's got a nice, massive kick, and it's just a slow roll bait that you can fish like kind of in the middle of the water column or lower. Uh, and it draws massive bites. So let me just talk about the stinger that I put on here. I utilize 130 pound cigar fluorocarbon that I crimp down with swedgers. And then I have, I've, I've tried a lot of assist hooks. Owner ST 36 one aught. Two aught will work too, but I think the one aught balance is better. And as you can see, my tail is ripped back here because I've been catching fish on it, but I like to put it right in the middle of the tail, that point right in the middle of the tail and balance that. And you can see I have the fluoro crimped in the hook eye of the uh, first, uh, of the uh, original hook that it comes with. And it, man, this is so lethal. I, I have hooked, again, monster bass with this thing, monster pickerel. Um, it, this is the best hookup ratio that I've had with this bait. Sorry, I keep putting it upside down just to show you guys the hooks. But look, it's super, super sleek. And, and you know, it's not going to really catch on anything. It's more weedless than you guys think. You can throw it in junk. And, uh, you know, obviously it's not completely weedless, but it doesn't snag up as much as you would think it, it uh, would. And then I have that on a decoy X-Snap size 5, 35 pound fluoro leader that I tie with a double uni knot and that's seven wraps right there. And I've, that that's just what works with this bait. And then I put mend it over the eyes. I put a coating of mend it to keep these eyes on because otherwise those eyes are, will be gone. <gasps> and this is that uh, albino um, pearlescent white color. That is just, that's, it's, it's an incredible, it's an incredible color that gets bit. It's, it's, you know, um, easily visible in pretty much any type of water and it still looks natural, it's bait fishy. I don't think color is super important with these bigger baits like this. I think a lot of different colors work. A lot of the mega bass colors are killer. I've caught them on uh, a variety. The trout patterns are great. The IU patterns are great. Uh, again, just pick one that you you think is cool for your work, water, uh, the bodies of water that you're fishing and, uh, and go go for it. Now, let me just talk about the setup here. So you might be thinking, what on earth are you fishing this on? 
And this is actually my musky setup, but this could also, this setup could also handle tuna. I mean, this is like, this is extreme. But this is a Zanak Glans, um, which is a Japan, handmade Japanese rod. It's a, um, they're a, a small shop out of Japan. And it's probably the, this is probably one of the finest rods I've ever fished. It is, again, it's handmade. This can handle up to, this is a 7.8. Um, and this can handle up to 15 ounces, maybe even more actually. Um, all titanium guides, it's got perfect balance, it keeps them pinned. And I actually have this paired up with a Trinx 500. You might be thinking, why do you need a Trinx 500 for bass fishing? For me, it's about the line pickup and it's about the torque on these soft baits. Um, I love the paddle handle. I love the fact that it has 42 inches per crank. So if I want to really, if I really want to really burn this and get the tail to kick out uh, on a slow retrieve to trigger bites, this reel can do it. And and when you have these things pinned, when you have a big bass pinned on a soft bait, you got to get the fish in as quickly as possible. And this is the reel to do it. And it pairs perfectly with this rod. Um, and, and I have it spooled up with 80 pound Max Quattro braid, which is pretty much what I run on all my swim bait setups, either 65 pound or 80 pound Max Quattro, depending on, you know, how how big the lure is. This this uh, mag draft is a 10 inch lure. I mean, of course it's 10 inches. Oh my God, it's six ounces or a little bit more than six ounces. To, and, and, you know, each one is, a, is slightly different. I found the consistency is okay. Some of these swim better than others. Unfortunately, I've had some duds that I can't do this setup with, but then I just make them into big weedless baits. But that's a story for another day. We're just talking about uh, this setup right now. And then I go to uh, FG knot and then that 35 pound fluoro leader. So uh, let's check out a couple catches. Kick. That's a giant pickerel. Giant pickerel. Giant pickerel. That's a giant. Giant pickerel. I gotta get a weight. I, I gotta get a weight on that. That's gotta be five pound pick. It's a monster. Oh! Guys, giant pickerel. Uh, four pound, 10 ounce pickerel on the uh, 10 ounce, uh, 10 inch mag draft. We're gonna get, get a release. <sighs> Crushed it.
That is a monster. That's a seven. Guys, just got this one to eat a uh, 10 inch mag draft. He absolutely smoked it. I got my stinger rig. Uh, I'll explain more about it in the video, but we're gonna get a weight and get this guy released. Awesome. Got him. Six pounds, nine ounces. Get a release right here. Uh, this is a Buka, Buka took this over, burrito in a unicorn poop colorway. Uh. And it is another incredible paddle tail bait. And as you can see here, I, I was actually fishing for pike. I have this attached. I'm not saying this is necessary, but it's effective. I have it attached to a 130 pound fluoro leader, this cigar fluoro leader with crimps. Here, this is a BKK snap in the front, and then I think I have an American, uh, or I'm not sure, this is just a, like a really strong barrel swivel right here. I mean, that thing is just insane. It's probably rated to like 120. And then I have that tied to uh, 80 pound Max Quattro right here. But you're probably wondering, why would you ever throw this for bass? Well, like Mike Iaconelli's fluke rig where he uses the barrel swivel, I find that it's kind of similar with this heavy fluoro and the barrel swivel. It almost looks like this fish is chasing bait as it goes through the water. This is not visible in the water. I know it looks like a spaghetti right here. Uh, I'm Italian. So... <laughs> It honestly looks like this is chasing it. And I've gotten some savage strikes with uh, fr from this rig. And, and not from pike, from just giant largemouth bass. Um, if you don't know about the burrito, it's an interesting bait. It's got a lot of thump. It's almost like a, like a chatter bait running through the column. And it kind of has a lot of wobble too. It's made out of silicone, so it's super durable. These things are expensive, but worth it, I think, if you're not snagging up. And the way that I actually like to fish this, uh, believe it or not, is up at the surface, like or right under the surface. And I'll I'll do like a two quick reel bumps just to get it to come up. And this is one of the only baits that does it. 
it'll it'll kind of shimmy to the side and it really does look like a wounded shad or a shad that's fleeing from something and once it dives back in and it's right under the surface it looks like it's doing it again that's when these what elicits these bites from these huge fish um that has been the most effective way for me to fish this. I know a lot of guys fish this lower in the water column and that's great too, but the uh, erratic thing where, where you're creating that disturbance and directional change, that seems to really get killed. And I'm fishing this on a, uh, oh, let me just uh, reel up some slack here before this becomes an absolute mess. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this oh okay, yeah. They got caught in a uh, thorn bush. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I'm, oh my God, there's so much cover around here. Maybe I shouldn't have done a video in like the jungles of Vietnam here. But I'm fishing this on my trusty Mega Bass Blackjack TS Destroyer Shimano Antares. I actually throw 65 pound braid. You can get away with 80 pound braid to uh, not get away with it. You can get away with a 65 pound braid. I think I'd rather throw it on 80 pound braid, but again, this will work too. Uh, this is just, again, I can't say enough good things about this combo. If you're getting one production swim bait rod, the, the TS Destroyer is probably the way to go. Uh, I have my Studio Composite handle here. Um, I love these things. This is the uh, NCXL uh, 29 millimeter foam grip handles. Cannot, carbon fiber, cannot get a better rig. Everything feels so butter smooth. And uh, yeah, so that's that rig. And uh, let's look at a catch. I'll show you that kind of frantic um, top water evasion technique that triggered a bite. Here we go. Dude, that's a five, that's a five pound bass. That was cool how he ate that too. Just got a really nice one. It's probably around four, four and a half pounds. Destroyed the Buca burrito. I was uh, fishing it real fast. Uh, up at the surface and he just came in and inhaled it. And I got him on a pike leader here. This is a 135 pound fluoro pike leader that I rigged because there's pike everywhere here. So we're gonna get a weight and get a release. Fishing this on a, uh, let me just get some line here. Fishing this on a uh, uh, Shimano Antares Monster Drive, CO composite handle and uh, Mega Bass Blackjack. Beautiful fish, four pounds, seven ounces. Let's get this thing released.
See ya. Okay, this next bait that I'm gonna talk about is probably the dark horse of the bunch that I guarantee you nobody is fishing. And um, that's why it's good. Not a, pe a lot of people are throwing this. It's cheap and it's effective for a certain type of fishing. And what this is, is a Gambler Big Jeezy. So this is an eight inch, um, an eight inch soft paddle tail bait. And uh, you might know the Big Easy, that's a great bait too, that's five inches. This is their giant one that they say is for, you know, good for stripers. I've never tried it for that, but I'm sure it would be absolutely lethal. It's good for pike, muskie, any kind of big game fish, but bass absolutely love it. If you're in a trout stock lake and you're not throwing this thing in the pre-spawn, uh, through spawn, I, I think that's where it's more effective or most effective because you gotta fish this a little bit faster to get the thumb. Oh, God. And where it really shines, I have this on a gambler, it's called a goat, like greatest of all time, goat locked up uh, jig head. If you can see right there, kind of, you know, just a nice swim bait head. Pretty good hook on there, pretty stout. Uh. Not the stoutest I've seen, but it'll still catch giants. Uh, and then I have, I set it up with a, this is a 100, I think this is a 100 pound. This might be one, 120, I can't remember, but this is 120 pound surf strand wire uh, leader that I have to an owner one knot going into just where that, just before where that joint is. And I usually have, uh, I break off a part of a paper clip and stick it down here where this got eaten, so that popped out. Uh, uh, and I use crimps again. This is an inc that's the way to fish this rig. I've tried it a lot. I've tried a weedless, tried it a lot of different ways. Just the way they they tend to eat this thing, um, this will get them. That assist hook is absolutely crucial. I got this idea, or inspired by this idea from Oliver Nye's. Uh, video on his, it's one of his defiant rigging videos so I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description for that or up top somewhere and I basically just kind of modified it just a touch and uh, applied it to this but if you can see here I leave a long kind of loop here and a little bit shorter of a loop in the back and that just allows it to kind of rotate freely it doesn't get caught up on the other hook and again, this is better to fish fast. I like to pop it on the surface and then kind of bring it right under. I use a lot of, a lot of twitches, almost like a jerk bait, and they get they get fired up and they hit this thing so hard it is ridiculous. They'll rip the rod out of your hand. And again, I'm fishing this on a, um, let's see, a decoy X now that's a size five, 35 pound fluoro leader. That's a uni knot, six wraps. Go six with a seven for the bigger stuff. Oh. Um, it's, it's an incredible bait. Not a lot of guys are fishing it. Um, and what do I throw this on? Right now, I actually, I have it attached to a, which I've talked about in my other videos. This is a, you can't see because the real cover is on right now. But um, that is a Antares Monster Drive, uh, which I just talked about previously with the uh, uh, 
oh my God, I'm blanking out here, with the uh, Studio Composite RC XL uh, 29 foam grip handle, 29 millimeters, um, an incredible rig. And it's a Blackjack, Mega Bass Blackjack TS Destroyer, but that that's a great one to throw this on, but that is not my favorite to throw it on. I just didn't happen to, actually, yes. Oh my God, I have it here. This is perfect. I just got another bait attached to it. My favorite rod to throw this on, it's again, same thing, uh, Antares Monster Drive, which I've talked about in a few videos, but I like to throw this on a nameless uh, 786 heavy one to five ounces. That is a perfect bait, or sorry, perfect rod to throw this on. It keeps them pinned. It is, the nameless stuff is like, it's literally like equipment from the future. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so light and so strong and so well balanced. Um, man, and it is just, again, strong, powerful, I, when you hook a fish on this thing, they are coming in and you just won't believe it. This is, uh, ended up doing all double foot, uh, spiral wrap, uh, titanium guides. And it's just an absolutely killer rod. I love all the nameless stuff, but that's what I throw this, uh, big easy on. So let's actually look at a catch where I have that very rig and, uh, you'll see it in action. Awesome. Just uh, test it out a little bit. Let's throw this on the nameless stuff. It's weird. It like the tail like stops. It doesn't have that same kind of kick that the mag draft does. You really got to move it faster. I also don't know if that's the right color for right now. It's more of like a burn, a burn presentation. That's the one. That's the one. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a seven. Guys, that's a fish. That's a seven. Oh my God. Oh my God. Finally, dude. Let's get a weight. I'm, 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 I'm going right around eight right there right there right there right there right there keep going keep going that's a new pv man huh? that's a new personal best for me that's 702 sick. dude that's yes sick, man. yes sick all right let's get her back in i just yeah, want one bad boy i want one more <laughs> yeah 
guys, this is a new P <laughs> this is a new PB for me. Seven pounds, two ounces. Absolute freaking monster. I think I missed this one last week. Uh, we'll get a release right now. Thanks, man. Guys, new PB. Seven pounds, two ounces. Here's the release. <laughs> Next week, next week, nine. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys learned about some of these, uh, or how to employ some of these big soft swim baits, these big soft paddle tail techniques. Again, I'm fishing these in uh, Northeast waters and they are, they are working. I mean, I find that a lot of people are fishing swim baits now. You got to kind of think outside the box a little bit and do something just a little bit different to trigger bites. And uh, again, all three of these are super effective. So if you like this type of content, please, <laughs> content, please remember to like, subscribe, and also leave me a comment. I really enjoy interacting with subscribers. Uh, I know I don't have too many. I'm too lazy with posting videos, or not lazy, but I'm just too preoccupied because I'm, I'm always on the road playing music. So it's just tough for me to get to the video editing. But I do love when the comments come in and uh, I'll always respond and I love interacting and learning. So uh, remember, one cast, one bite, one big fish. Get these big soft swim baits into your arsenal and go catch a big giant. Love you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.